Oh, you could talk. Oh. <laughs> Breakfast with the Browns is back. You're still dancing today. I Woo! mean, Phillips just in the best mood today. <laughs> Celery juice every morning. That's right. Here we go. <laughs> It's um, like brunch with the Browns. It's 10.30. Yeah, sorry, it's guys. Late. It's just a, a surprise episode. Uh-oh, we might be frozen. We're over still there. loading over there. Over there. Okay, surprise episode. Happy Friday. Um, wanted to make a comeback and, you know, just see you guys and give you guys a quick update. Um, well, you got we any We do updates? a comeback like every four months. We <laughs> leave for a while and then come back. Yeah, I know. So no promises. We'll be here next week. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, hopefully we are. We'll see. We'll no see promises. if Philip gives me an attitude or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have a few things. Like, it's been an awesome year so far. Happy 2021. And um, we are in our new office. We just got an office right here in Vint Hill in about, what, it's been? Two months. A month and a half, and two a half. months. We love it. We don't have to work out of our house anymore. And um, yeah, so if you're in the area, come see us. We would love to see you and eat some lunch maybe. Maybe anyone want to bring us lunch? <laughs> um, I thought this was breakfast. Oh yeah, well to this is breakfast. Yeah. You know, well, brunch, brunch as yeah. you said. Oh, sorry, am I cutting you off? Yeah. Come on over here. And then you're off here. God, um, we gotta tighten up. Yeah. We don't even have our mugs, guys. They're they're left at our other office, our house. We didn't do our cheers. Vent Hill Coffee, awesome. Um, another thing is we just hired a full-time buyer specialist for our team. His name's Steve Miller. I think we touched on this in our last comeback episode, but. Um, He's doing awesome and it's great, especially right now for this market um, because we don't, it's so important that buyers are out there seeing houses the minute that they're listed. I mean, we just listed one yesterday and already have a lot of interest on it. Um, so, you know, even during the coming soon status, deals are being made right now. So the, it's important to us as a team, to our clients, to never miss out or miss an opportunity. So bringing on a full-time buyer's agent was a way for us to maximize, um, you know, the way that we can help our clients. So nothing's being missed. And then Philip can focus solely on um, the listing side. And um, yeah, so we're pretty well-rounded these days. And then we also just brought in a full-time admin, Kylie. This is her first week, so shout out to Kylie. And she's um, why we're doing this. She made us she, do this. Yeah, she was like, we gotta bring it back. So here we are. And, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're a little rusty. Yeah. We're a little rusty this morning. Get back into it. So what I guess we should talk a little bit about personal stuff. Um, update on personal is Let's see, what should we talk about? Okay, <laughs> so don't, much to talk yeah, about. don't, I think the number one advice is don't assume that if you have a child, don't assume that they are going to like the sport that you like. So Philip just signed or up. Or any he was, sports. Or any sports for that we, matter. We realize our four-year-old doesn't like sports. Mm. So I'm coaching Kinley's four-year-old soccer team yeah just why don't we just add on one more thing yeah. for us to do Phillip's so, now the soccer coach so it'll be fun coach the soccer team and we've had two practices and both times Kinley comes and just sits on the side and cries and tells me she hates soccer so she's yet to participate you the got team, a little upset yesterday the team's doing like. great but Kinley's just not involved so <laughs> yeah know. oh and then Philip decides that he's going to coach a soccer team and then he decides to go out of town and then I have to coach the first game and he gives me no rules, no guidance, nothing. Uh, yeah, just, they're five. Threw they'll me out there. Out. They're four, they'll figure but it out. But we won 20 to zero. Shout out to Levi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, yeah, so Kinley's not into soccer, but you know, I guess parenting advice, what we're going to do, if anyone has any advice, let us know, but we're just going to keep bringing her to soccer practice and you know, once she made a commitment, she can't quit on the commitment. So she doesn't play, but she has to show up. She has to show up. She has to be there for her team. She yeah. has to cheer them on. Um, so if anyone has young kids and has advice on how to make her get involved, let me know. So 
All right. Well, what else are we talking about? What's going on in the market? What's yeah, happening? that's your part. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so, Cordy's been posting these great videos, um, and we've talked about it before, but it's still a really strong seller's market out there, um, and there's a lot of things that are are leading that, um, but really low inventory still, relatively really low interest rates. So. Good for buyers, still really great for sellers. We're under one month supply in most of the areas that we service. So that just means it's a huge seller's market. So that's been that way for six months, but most of this year, 2021, it's really been um, just kind of going crazy. So if you have questions about that, reach out and we can talk more one-on-one -on -one with it. But we did want to talk about forbearance because it's kind of been a common question we've been getting asked. Everyone thinks that there's going to be this huge introduction of foreclosures once the forbearance um, kind of package is lifted and people have to kind of get right on their mortgages again. And a lot of the stuff we read, the people we follow, it just doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. And there's four main reasons why. Um, first one being that 50% of the people that have already come out of forbearance, meaning they're making payments again, have already caught up and are back to where they were prior to when that program started. Um, second is the banks don't want 2008 to happen again. So they don't want to take on all these foreclosures again and deal with the headache of then trying to get them back out on the market. So in 2008, they offered um, programs to about 208,000 homeowners to help them get into these um, retention programs. And just this year in 2020 and 2021, they've offered retention programs to over a million people just to try and keep people in their houses. Um, it's better for them if they can get these people on some type of program to keep them in the house. So they're We're going there, Wade. Wade's like commenting on our number fourth reason. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. And so they're doing repayment plans, loan deferral plans or loan modifications. But bottom line is the banks want to keep people in their house. Third reason, there's no political will to, for all these homes to come to foreclosure. The government wants people to stay in these houses. So they, they know what happened in 2008. The government is doing everything they can to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, and there's a big, long article on that. And if you want more info, reach out. We can talk about it. Last is kind of the biggest reason that we don't see these foreclosures happening. And that's most people have a lot more equity in their house than they did in 2008. So... One out of every 10 people that is using the forbearance program has at least, has more than 10% equity in their house. So if you have more than 10% equity in your house, you could sell it and get out before um, the bank would foreclose on you. You've got enough equity to sell and get out before any type of foreclosure. So a lot of equity in the homes that people own right now. Yeah. So that's where we see it. Um, yeah, we get asked this. This is probably one of the number one things. Yeah. Like, oh, the How's market's going to crash because of all the, the forbearance, um, yeah. you know, people. But as you're talking, I'm just like chugging my different yeah. drinks. I realized I was like, what do I do over here? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was good. Um, anything else? I don't. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. If you have more specific questions, reach out. Yeah, reach out to us, and we'll be back next week, won't we? Sure. Yeah. We'll see. Everyone give a, you know, let us know if you want us to come back next week. Uh-oh, if no one says anything, we probably won't come back yeah. then. If you want us to just be Courtney, let her know. She no. loves doing solo videos. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, all right, see you guys. Happy brunch and happy Friday. Got to turn it off. Oh, I need to say shout out to my cousin Cliff. He wrote us. I just couldn't read it when we were, uh, what's up? All right. Bye.